When I was a little girl, I made a list of all the things I wanted my husband to be. I imagined someone tall and kind, someone to climb trees with me. I imagined someone who liked sports and loved Jesus, a man who was a great secret keeper, someone who made me laugh and took me on dates. As I got older, the list got longer. I hoped my husband would be creative and a deep thinker, someone to walk me to class and hold my hand. I hoped he would share my passions. I hoped he respected me and supported me through times of difficulty or crazy new ideas. In college, I decided there were a few more things I wanted to add. I wanted someone who deeply knew me and my coffee orders. I wanted that man to care deeply for people, both in his community and out. I wanted him to be honest through conflict and tough decisions. And eventually I got to meet that man at an ice cream shop in Lynchburg, Virginia. And when I did meet you, I hoped that I fit all the that in your list. But over time, it became less about a checklist of qualities and more about finding ways to show you how cared for and valued you So today, I created a list these promises. I promise to celebrate victories, both small and large. I promise to always accept who you are and challenge you to grow. I promise to listen to new fun facts and summaries of documentaries. I promise to talk about you with respect and love to our friends and family. I promise to protect our time together as a couple. I remember when I first asked you out and how I decided I was when I said yes. I remember the first time I told you I loved you and how after I said it, I panicked and just stood there like I hadn't just said the L word. <laughs> I remember when we first started talking marriage and how we looked at this place long before we were engaged. I remember when I finally got the opportunity to propose to you and how excited I was when you said yes. I don't think either of us envisioned or anticipated the past two years looking like they did. But it left us with a lot of memories and stories to tell. Fifty years from now, when our future has come and gone, I'm not sure what events we will look back on and remember. I'm not sure what life events will stick out in our memories. And I don't know what the future holds, but I do know that I can make promises about who I will strive to be and how I will treat you. I promise to choose you daily and to be faithful to you. I promise to, to lead us in a way that honors you. I promise to love you how you are and to remind you daily that you are always enough and never too much. I promise to be someone you can be proud of and someone you can respect. I promise to tell you I love you daily. I promise to fight to reconcile, not fight to win. I promise to go on walks. I promise to ask about your day. I promise to eat Thai food together regularly. I promise to apologize with humility and grace and apologize quickly. I promise to ask for help from our friends, family, and the Holy Spirit to make our marriage full and life-giving. And I promise to love you with everything I have through and through. I promise to strive to be the best man I can be because I believe you deserve that. And I promise that no matter what memories we have 50 years from now, those memories will be of us and the love we share. McLean, this is a part that you've been excited for. <laughs> you may now kiss your bride. My first knowledge of him was when Lindsay started texting me the week leading up to school about the cute RA on her brother dorm. My favorite memory of you is you taking me out to Five Guys 
and you sharing advice with me. You're going into your junior year and I'm going into my freshman year at Liberty. You had matured a lot at that point. And I had a lot of questions about college. I was nervous. And you sat with me patiently. You prayed for me and you gave me just amazing advice. And I'm lucky to have you as a brother and as a friend. McLean, you mean the world to me, and I'm so happy that you found a wife like Lindsay. I went to look him up on social media, which he had absolutely no presence at the time. So being the good best friend I was, I stalked his LinkedIn. Um, <laughs> I mainly got to see McLean and spend time with him during football games. I would go with Lindsay and her brother dorm, and it was at one of these football games that I knew the two of you were going to get married. You guys were still in denial. Somehow I ended up sitting right between them. And the whole game, I was either leaned all the way back or hunched all the way onto my knees so they could talk over me, and I don't think they noticed I was there. Lindsay, <laughs> you're so sweet and kind, and it was an honor um, to have you live with us this summer leading up to the marriage. I'm so happy that you're joining the family, and I love you guys.